Weighing over 1 million kilograms, the CAT 6090 is the largest hydraulic excavator in the world. This engineering marvel is designed to tackle the most challenging open pit mines with the capacity to load up to 93 tons of material in each cycle. But how are these imposing machines built? To find out, let's travel to the United States, where Caterpillar, a leading heavy machinery company, is responsible for its development. The history of the CAT 6090 begins with Caterpillar's acquisition of Bucyrus International in 2011. Bucyrus was a company renowned for its expertise in manufacturing large-scale mining machinery, including giant hydraulic excavators. Following the acquisition, Caterpillar integrated and enhanced Bucyrus's technologies, merging its own legacy of innovation with Bucyrus's field experience. The CAT 6090 is an evolution of the Bucyrus Arehacha 400, which previously held the title of the world's largest hydraulic excavator. This excavator is equipped with powerful engines capable of generating over 4,500 horsepower. Its advanced hydraulic system and robust components allow the machine to operate efficiently and safely, even in the most extreme environments. The CAT 6090 is primarily used in open pit mining operations, where its ability to move large quantities of material quickly is invaluable. These machines play a crucial role in the extraction of minerals such as coal, copper, and iron, significantly contributing to the productivity of mining operations. So, how are these enormous excavators brought to life? The manufacturing process of the CAT 6090 begins with the creation of patterns for casting, where engineers develop precise computer-aided designs that are then used to fabricate the necessary molds. Each component of this imposing excavator is crafted with meticulous accuracy, as even the smallest error could result in the loss of valuable steel alloys. The track's bases, designed to support over 900 tons, are among the first parts to be manufactured. To ensure high quality in assembling the various steel pieces that make up the track base, preliminary machining of the bearing is performed, a crucial step for the proper functioning of the displacement system. To join these monstrous pieces, an advanced welding technique is employed, including controlled preheating by thermostat and specific welding sequences to minimize distortions and reduce residual stress. This meticulous approach ensures that the structural parts subjected to high dynamic stresses have a prolonged lifespan. Once the final welding is complete and quality control is passed, the track base is moved to the final machining stage. Assembling the track chains begins with casting the pads using a special high alloy steel that can withstand the most demanding working conditions. The displacement gear of the CAT 6090 is an impressive achievement. Weighing 12 tons and with a maximum torque of 2 million newton meters, it is the largest planetary gear in the world. This system allows the excavator to reach a maximum speed of 2.2 kilometers per hour. The chain rollers and support rollers are designed to endure considerable wear, so the company has developed forged, tempered, and hardened rollers to withstand these demanding conditions. Each roller is manufactured in two halves, precisely machined, and then welded using specialized techniques. A computer-controlled boring mill ensures accuracy in the connection surfaces and drilled holes, thus completing the construction process of these robust machines. Precision is fundamental in every phase of the process, as reflected in the assembly of the links that make up the track belt. After assembly, the chains are painted and prepared for final installation. The track rollers, equipped with bronze bushings and long-lasting seals, ensure reliable and durable performance in extreme conditions. This module, even without the chains or displacement system, reaches an impressive weight of 55 tons. The next step in constructing this monumental excavator is creating the central frame, which connects the two track bases and, along with the rotary bearing, supports the superstructure. A rolled steel ring with a diameter of 4.5 meters joins the upper and lower parts of the frame, providing the necessary stability to absorb the enormous excavation forces transmitted from the superstructure. After machining, the precision of all threaded connections in the rotary bearing support is verified using a mandrel gauge. This bearing, specifically developed for this excavator, 
connects the drivetrain with the superstructure, allowing a full 360-degree rotation. The internal gear transfers torque from the six rotating crowns, enabling rapid and efficient movements of the superstructure. In this process, precision and meticulous cleanliness during assembly are essential to ensure the system's longevity. Once the transport safety devices and preservation agents are removed, the bearing is mounted on the central frame, which is then transported to the final assembly site. With nearly 11 meters in length, the superstructure frame is the largest component of the CAT 6090. The steel pieces that make it up are cut with millimeter precision using a computer-controlled oxygen cutting machine and a camera-equipped robot. The different sections are first assembled into sub-assemblies. All main connections are inspected with ultrasound immediately after welding to ensure their integrity. These sub-assemblies are later joined to form the complete superstructure frame. After the final welding and priming, the frame undergoes precision machining. In this phase, 270 high-precision threaded holes are drilled to mount the six rotating crowns and the bearing. With the machined frame, the component is ready for final assembly. Now we move on to the engine module, which includes the main components of the hydraulic and electrical systems, as well as the two diesel engines. Even in the early stages of assembly, the layout of the two transmission lines can be recognized. The engine module frame is mounted on the two fuel tanks, each with a capacity of 7,500 liters, and then secured with bolts. The hydraulic tank, located in the center, allows the hydraulic pump intake lines to remain short, optimizing system efficiency. The engine module, with its large dimensions, facilitates access for maintenance personnel, and its coating protects all components against wear. Connections between the diesel engines and hydraulic pumps are made using high-efficiency distributor gears designed with precision for near-perfect performance. The exact machining of the casting housing ensures that the gears operate correctly and that the gear is sealed. Lubrication with oil is rigorously tested to ensure its efficiency. The main pumps, mounted on the CAT 6090's transfer gear, are improved versions of the reliable pumps from the company's previous excavator series. Four of these pumps supply power to the cylinders and drive units, while another three are dedicated exclusively to rotating the superstructure. The transmission line assembly begins with placing a pre-assembled pump distributor gear onto rubber elements that reduce vibrations. The two Cummins Q ESC Ka 60 diesel engines, each equipped with four turbochargers, generate a total power of 4,000 horsepower. Installing these engines is a tense moment even for Caterpillar's experienced installers, as prolonged oil change intervals increase the CAT 6090's annual operational time. Now it's time to mount the cabin, which has been designed to have an ergonomic perspective and exceptional visibility. The electronic and hydraulic circuits are mounted below the cabin, where they are protected from the elements and easily accessible. These cabins are equipped with double-glazed glass to prevent accidents with rock fragments and feature an integrated air conditioning system, ensuring optimal working conditions. Two large engines operating in extreme climates require a robust cooling system. To achieve this, engineers have dedicated a considerable part of the hull for this purpose. The large coolers, equipped with thermostat-controlled fans, ensure that the oil temperature remains consistently low even under high loads and extreme ambient temperatures. This helps prolong the lifespan of the hydraulic components and sealing systems. The CAT 6090's counterweight weighs 90 tons, and in addition to acting as ballast, houses the diesel engine water radiators and fans. This design ensures optimal access to all components. The next step is constructing the excavator arm, a process in which engineers have invested considerable time to ensure that the forces exerted and received by the machine are adequately supported. The shapes of the cast parts at key points, such as the superstructure, arm, and tri-power mechanism, are designed to allow a smooth transition between metals, ensuring a continuous flow of forces. To ensure the quality of this component, precise welding sequences, specialized clamps, and rigorous ultrasonic testing are used. Additionally, the machining of the arm and other components is performed on a dual-column milling machine with maximum precision, ensuring a perfect fit in the bearing seats.
This excavator has a hydraulic console that holds the valves controlling the cylinder movements, and the precise bending of the pipes is managed by a computer-controlled bending machine. This pre-assembled console is bolted to the arm. Caterpillar has many years of experience in developing and producing hydraulic cylinders. The high-quality materials used in the cylinder's barrels and piston rods, along with special sealing systems, translate into a long service life for Caterpillar cylinders. The cylinder mounted here weighs 9 tons and, with a hydraulic pressure of 300 bars, develops a force of 490 tons. A total of 8 cylinders drive the CAT 6090's equipment and bucket. The special contour design of the arms ensures optimal force flow and helps prevent excessive stresses. The construction of these arms follows Caterpillar's advanced engineering principles, incorporating solid cast pieces at support points. On the other hand, the precise cutting of the steel sections is reflected in the exact assembly of the components. The next step is to assemble the bucket, which consists of a front part and a rear wall. This structure must withstand great stresses due to direct contact with the loaded material. The cutting lip, made from a single piece and equipped with the ESCO tooth system, is precisely fitted to the steel structure of the bucket. Dimensional precision is essential for the subsequent machining of the bearing seats. Given the bucket's weight is crucial for the excavator's efficiency, it was designed to be lightweight yet with maximum structural strength. The rear wall consists of over 100 steel elements. In the CAT 6090, the use of a rotating table allows machining without the need to reposition the piece, thus ensuring the correct alignment of the bearing seats. The high quality of the machining work is demonstrated when the bucket parts are assembled. The floating pins, with a diameter of 260 millimeters, are mounted with a precise fit. In the final assembly phase, the various modules are joined to complete the excavator. To connect the arm to the structure and the bucket to the arm, special steel pins with tri-power features are used, designed to withstand the demands of daily work. Performing as much pre-work as possible on the modules helps minimize the time required for final assembly. Thanks to this thorough preparation, the CAT 6090 can be ready to operate in just 10 days. The engine module, weighing 60 tons, is placed with millimeter precision. The cylinders and the tri-power mechanism are already assembled before installing the arm. Positioning this 120-ton assembly with two cranes requires very precise work. Once the oil cooler module is mounted, the unit silhouette begins to take shape. After installing the cabin, Numerous energy and hydraulic lines need to be connected to complete the installation. With a seat located at a height of 9 meters, the cabin offers excellent visibility. The two halves of the counterweight, weighing 90 tons, provide the necessary stability to the unit. Before mounting the arm, the pin is carefully cleaned once more and greased. The two halves of the counterweight are securely joined with 40 bolts. Finally, the bucket, with a capacity of 52 cubic meters, is mounted. The CAT 6090 is equipped with advanced electronic control and monitoring systems. Before its commissioning, specialists perform exhaustive tests to ensure its proper functioning. After factory tests and customer demonstrations, the disassembly begins. The excavator is broken down into several modules and numerous individual parts. Every cable, hose, and pipe, every nut and bolt, must be carefully disconnected and stored, leaving nothing to chance. The largest component is the 95-ton superstructure, which can only be transported in one piece. Subsequently, painting is carried out in the workshop to give it the company's characteristic color, and the components are ready for transportation. And that's how the world's largest hydraulic excavator is built. What did you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In the windows you'll see next, there are more videos that might catch your attention. Feel free to watch one. See you next time.